All right, let's get it. Project 3 final. Recognizable, easy to open, accessible. I'm going to skip over and see. Recognizable, easy to open, accessible. Yep. Accessible kind of fits into this one. Recognizable, I get it. Yep, select those pages. Go with that. I'm just looking for refinement because it seems like you have this in the prototyping phase before you quote unquote refine it. Yep, these are the things you told me you'd fix, and you fix it. I'd say it's a pretty good little short project. The only thing in terms of you know development refinement is the kickstand gets increased to a, a higher angle. If it's worth mentioning, mention it. If not, you know, you, I think you can live without it. But you, know, you call it refinement, so I'm curious what did you refine, but I think I get it. Okay, I do appreciate you throwing this in now. No other ways to make it better. I want to try a little a different graphic design approach. Instead of using like a dash and an indent, what if you keep everything left aligned and then you use like a dot? either open dot or a closed dot. And this one I want to leave to you. Do you need this vignette around it? Or how could you build it in? Like if this is like a different color on the inside, let's say hypothetically like this inside this box is a little bit lighter. So if this is 70% gray, maybe this is 40. So I'm gonna let you make a call on that one. I just. The box is 100% necessary, but it could serve as a, I don't know, a little bit of a pop. Should the R and R be capitalized? Because you are talking about a brand. Alright, so I know you're working on a creeper. You don't really exp you don't explain to me what the OnePlus system is. I mean, it's I think it's pretty important because without this battery, it's just a creeper. The battery gives you the possibility to actually add lights, which is during the ninety percent of your market. So. Explaining what this is and why it's important, I feel it's important. This is being redundant. Like, what else does it offer?
This is the other 10%. And is it just lights? Because if it's just lights, it, it is an addition. But I mean, how many of our battery powered? I guess we'll see on the next page. And why is it problems question mark? Like, are they problems? How do you want me to read this? Or they just, it's, yep, these are problems that we have. Or is this challenges? They challenge you to expand the product market. I'd like some clarity on this page. All right, I want a little bit of graphic design on this page. So let's say, bring this one over line, white line a little bit. So you have your M that mark that lines up at the edge of your white line. That it lines up with your A and affordable. Line continues to line up here and P and performance lines up. $120 going under P in performance. Over here, everything's right aligned. So line, ER, the line is here. Mechanic needs to slide a little bit under and then $200 below that. I'd also like to see what if you're, all the text was in white in here. So I'm still curious, right? You say 90% of the things do nothing more than casters and casters and a plank. So. What do these guys offer that make them in this higher market, right? Maybe a pneumatic lift. A bit hard to read this. Once again, maybe it's just a white text. Because it seems like you have more dark tones in the background than you have light tones in the background. Try this guy right aligned because it's close to that line. I want you to try another thing for me too. What if these images, like all backed up to one another instead of having this gray border, and what you do to separate them was the white line, white line, white line, like a one point thick white line. Man, I think you can get this into two sentences instead of three. Just work surface, so like what if lights go there, back that up one, then work. And pack it up a little bit more. Also, is this one you want to write a line because you're pretty close to the white, white, the right border? So I get two tool trays and some lights. Instead of giving me a paragraph, what if you just do call outs? So line, we get two seven inch lights. We get the Ruby One Plus quick connect, a quick battery system, large battery, I mean large magnet, small magnet, high performance casters. Uh, we can't be doing that. I need you to try to stick with the same size. Um, you know, font size. There's no reason to change it. All it does is make it harder for me to read. Yeah, I think that guy could go up. I think you just told me about the LED, so it's not a need to be redundant. Give me a full image of this page. The creeper is the most intelligent choice for any shop or professional race shop. <laughs> I think you know what I'm trying to say. Ideally, like I want somebody on this under here, but then again, it would be all dark, so maybe this is the best option.
Yeah, I'm just trying to think, how did these renders benefit you much more than this one? And I really don't get it. So I think I don't want this to be full size. And then keep your fonts all the same. So body font should all be all the same size body fonts. So that size comes down here. There we go. I agree, Walt, even though I think you're crazy. Parent run research. What is Disney? I still don't like, are, are these it? Nah, well, what are the things that make it unique to Disney? And yes, and after talking to you, I know these are graphic standards, but you're also pulling from this background, which is primary, 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 secondary, secondary, and the images, because they are white and gray, and they on the back, they read as tertiary, so... Is there any word on this page, even though it's full, I don't want to add anything to reinforce what is Disney? And once I know what, what is Disney, how it translates. I find this visually difficult to follow because like there's so many different levels of visual hierarchy. Tertiary, secondary, Primary, 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 secondary, tertiary. I do see there's a flow, but it's just difficult to follow. And keep in mind the way this is my screen. So this is actually like inch, almost two inches by four inches. I see now imagine, but who chose, you chose, and what if. So even if I wanted to, it's really difficult for me to read this. I wonder if you like introduce like our task is to develop a iOS system. That would it expand Disney's branding. So yeah, I'm trying to find to develop a sub brand strategy. I mean, is it to develop a sub brand strategy, but for you, what is it? It's to take a, you know, a, a hard, good product and make a digital asset out of it or to make a service, right? Do you inspire, affirm, guide, and communicate? <sighs> hmm, I do like the hidden Mickey head. That's very Disney. I see your development. Give you credit. Like the application. I feel like you need... I just feel like it's done too fast. I feel like it needs to be another page. It really could be like an app development page. Because by the time you tell me what wonder is, and I'm thinking from a problem solving standpoint, not what you did in the class standpoint, is, all right, I developed a logo. I developed kind of a brand, a sub-brand. And what do I put it into? I put it into a pamphlet and I put it into an app. But it still, it feels like it comes up short. Like if you did like a wireframe or did like a sequence of use with the app, I'm like, okay, you solved the problem. Right now we're just taking it and we're throwing it on a pamphlet and we're throwing it on an app. But 
you know, if, if you do want to expand this to an idea that's Disney, you need to explain how it works and has a, the feel of being uniquely Disney, and I don't really get it yet. Can we also make these leaders a bit lighter? Like, I know they're connected, but the chunkiness kind of draws me. And is this being redundant? I mean, I don't tell your mind, I don't mind it, I guess. Visually, it's fine. So if I had my way, you'd have um, how it works app because yes, the logo feels and it fits into Disney, but you know how you interact with the app and what it does also should feel uniquely Disney. And for me, it would round out, you know, how the sub brand is really implemented on a bigger scale instead of superficially. Nowadays, oh, you were right. Is that bad quality over price point? So the price point is here, and the quality is beyond it, or? Is the price point higher than what this is? <clears throat> I, mean, I agree with you. So that's a diff difference in audio quality. Also, I feel like these all these should be top to line. And maybe because I have the sickness, they're not all top aligned. That one's just a notch down. Come on! No hyphenations. Yeah, I told you like I'd like this aspect. The last time is you give me two different vibes and very well played and very recognized audio. That way I can understand. Oh, this time you want it for ported. This time you want it for sealed. All right, these are your goals. So these are your goals at the very end. I want to check them and make sure that you've actually achieved these. We've got a problem over here. Problem over here. Ah, we talked about this last time. I don't see any changes. You gotta manage my expectations. Okay, I think this one changed. Okay, I like the working prototype. I like how country this is. What track are we playing? Good. I mean, this is what I talk about, the aha moment. Like, these are the things that you reason why you prototype it so you know what you need to change. I do like it. This is me being maybe a bit shellfish. I want some more, like, some colors in the sky. To represent different functions, like color the wires, like they're red and black, or maybe they could be red and green. I mean, this is where the attention. This would be prime number one, so this is where attention is drawn to. So I would try a small range of colors to bring more visual interest. But then again, if it looks janky, go back to this.
Visually, I'm how I found that find the difference between sealed and ported is I have a hole here, and then I don't have a hole. It's like your what stays put. All right, so the body moves, not the top. What if you tell me it like rotates 10 degrees? Also, this is being a bit selfish and I don't want to go back and change the design, but if I saw vertical like stripes or hashing like you do on a, um, like a 20 ounce Coke product, this would say visually, hey, you turn this part, but because they're both um, clear, smooth surfaces, nothing implies subtly, hey, you want to touch here to turn. Yeah, I don't want me. I don't want to go back and change your product, but um, either RAM management expectations say you're, hey, you're turning this guy 15 degrees, because I'm expecting, I don't know, like 45 degrees, maybe more than that, and that's why I was kind of struggling to see the difference until I kept on looking. Cool. Hey, we all been there. I mean, not me because my name is really easy to spell, but I understand. The perfect breathe, breath. Okay, you made the changes. I appreciate. It. Okay, so first round through, what I'm hunting for is what attack, 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 Ugh, can't talk. What attracts my attention? It's a compliment, keeps you grounded. A combination of the three, I didn't get three. Aromatherapy, meditation, nature right those are three Aromathe if the aromatherapy meditation and nature and a balance of those three things creates balance of harmony body and mind I don't know I think that's what I'm reading through or is it a combination of the two? I don't know. All right, placeholder. All right, so unique, tool, not trend, and nature, right? If those are your goals at the very end, I want to make sure you are re-emphasizing that, yeah? But I think instead of just putting the logos, I would make some type of briefcase. Right, the product is this, it's tool nut trend. There's a connection. I wonder if you can do it through call outs. Kind of like this, but, hmm. If I could change one thing, wait, 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 why do we have that? Let's 
So you took existing products and you sketched over them and you call them your ideation. Uh, not so cool with that because I mean these aren't yours, but you're claiming them as yours. Um, if they're gonna be here, I need you to tell me what needs to be improved and give me some type of your own personal um, synthesis of the form and what it does rather than, hey, this is my ideation because if you go up, uh, that's somebody else's ideation. Um, additionally, like I want to know what your thoughts on are when you sketch them. So these should be almost like full black and they should be a fill on the front of the layers. And right now them being on the back makes them a bit difficult to read. And they seem not as important, but I do believe they are important. Yeah, same thing with this dude here. You can't you can't, some, can't you can't claim somebody else's form as your own, which it, it implies that it's your ideation. I'd make these leaders a little bit lighter, so instead of one point, maybe half or point seven five. Yeah, I think you had to introduce a plant earlier, right? It's, it's not in the ideation. It's not in your initial renders. At some point, the plant comes into this, but I don't see it to the very end. Yep, agree. Holes one the side is how. Holes one the side is how to plant is how plant is watered from the diffuser yeah so you gotta how plant is watered yeah you gotta introduce that to plant before here and this feels like it's more of a finished image hey in every every line in finland is a finish line think about it Everybody's got a dollar. Who's rich? Things to think about. First thing I saw, thought when I saw these is that the white balance isn't quite right. It's like these has distinctly dark tones and that gets kind of to a dark brown. But then again, the backgrounds look similar. So like, why does this one look different than these two? I don't know. And there's not a lot of development on the project and you know, you don't have to fully develop out every single project. Like, I feel like these go together, but why does this orange one stand out so much? What if... Because they're all pretty... They're repet they show the repetition you have, and I think that's good. But... If I have an entire page of repetition, then my brain is like, whoa, it's too much information, it's stimulus overload. So... I want, I'd like you to try something for me. I'd like this more brown tone. I would take that brown tone and apply it over here and reduce these to maybe 60% opacity. That way these appear as the first priority of the image. These are secondary. Also, could you flip flop the photo? Because as I read through the page, I stop here because I found what I needed to see. But if you flip this image, it uses the entire width of the page. Just something I think that belief could help. Assembly. We're good. All right, I mean, I think it's a good little quick project. Loading. 
you see how this like this isn't really centered in the middle of your box? Like I've got, I'll say quarter inch over here and a sixteenth of an inch over here. This is where you could center it. Also, I think you could select this and hit like Alt and then the vertical button or up button just to push it together just a smidge vertically. Yep. See this projected annual growth because it's not yet that happened. And what are wages? Like, I'm just really interested in how big the market is. Thirteen thousand businesses. I'm like, what is a wage? What's the difference between wages and revenue? I'm not in business, so maybe this is why I'm dumb. All right, let me see. Products and services segmentation. Forty, we'll say forty-one percent of all pet products are toys. No. Forty-one percent of all pet services and products are pet supplies. Customer segmentation. Sixty percent are in. That's kind of a big age gap, age room though, right? So you have just graduates, young adults, to parents of, let me think, yeah, that's a word. Yeah, it could be parents of college kids. So college kids and parents of college kids. It's a pretty big age group. What do you really want me to know here? Spending price per toy. Once again, I think your target's really big. Five dollars, whatever. I don't really care that much about five dollars. But when I get into to twenty dollars, I'm like, twenty dollars is like four or five dollars. That's a pretty big purchase in terms of toys. So why are you grouping things so big? And what are you trying to say about the information? So maybe it's a little bit like overly clear. I might increase the size of your big ones. Also, I don't think you want to hear this, but these guys seem a bit pixelated and these guys seem crisp, probably because they were all drawn at the same size. So it could be just as easy as finding these sketches and rescanning them. Also, it seems to hear a little bit of fading, right? The further I go to the right, these things scale down, and I'd like them to have the same height. But these get a little bit smaller, and that one gets a little bit smaller. So I'd like consistency across the span. Okay. Is there a way to make these images just a tad bit bigger? I might need to rotate them a bit, but I think it would feel more right. <laughs> yeah, this needs to be, you know what needs to happen here. I'm not really sure you need the images. I'm more interested in what are the names? Dagalo Picasso. Right, because instantly when I see these, I'm like, you said we're making fun of just notable public figures. Yep, yep, yep. I don't, I don't necessarily need these. I wonder what, what their dog name is. You could use it as like a, a lighter background image, but what is the clever, funny statement that I need here? I 
I think I would share the separation of internal and external. Because this one looks as if I can throw the entire thing in the washing machine. That's not the case. This one, like, where did that come from? Yep. I'd like you to show me that, hey, this thing actually consists of two things, one and then two. Lighter black border. And what things did you want to say you wanted to solve? Choking hazards. Playing with it when I'm not here. So if those are the issues, did you answer the issues by the time I get to here? Cool, we'll talk about this the other day. Let's see if there's anything. Yeah, I think the one I saw in the office was a superior version than this. So I think I, I might be going crazy. Pretty sure I am, but. I think the one that I saw will look better than this, so I'm not going to give you feedback because I think I already gave you feedback. I did. Okay. You recorded that job. Mode. Design brief. Only part that I read is. A system of sustainable furniture that a furniture that avoids waste. Is it young adults or is it college students? Are they large? Or are they the largest? Same thing. This doesn't really imply waste. If you have a senior throwaway day, I don't know what the, 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 the day is termed by, but man, I would love to see an image. And this might be an image you have to get like in person on the last day of school. But all, all you need is to show one of those. Or there's a... Man, where is it? It's close to... I think it's louder. There's a dumpster if you're coming in from Glenn that says, do not throw furniture in this dumpster, which I always think is pretty funny, but it's, it's definitely real. Yeah, I could mind. This stuff looks agreeable. I'm not saying it looks great, but I think it looks agreeable. So that's, there's a reason why it's bought. But I agree, it, it is low cost and it's low quality. I just feel like disagreeing with this. Rarely done time and energy efficient or time and energy draining. Reuse. Donating does not solve the problem, it prolongs it. But I mean, that's. Is it worth donating, is what I'm asking. Like, if you donate it. How much goody do you have left? I think I'm going to bold this because this is kind of the transitional statement. I want to 
ask for it because I think it's important. But if these are the things you're keeping in mind, then as you sketch, I want call out saying, you know, I think this is a really good idea or I think this is a bad idea and not feasible. Like I want to understand your thought process as you're sketching, but with no call outs, it looks like it's more just must, it's more just form development. So which is it? Is it just form development or are you actually thinking about these things when you're designing? At some point, like, why did this fail? Even though I really do enjoy the fact that it did fail. It failed because of not the strength of the joints, made it more robust, made it out of PLA. Like, do you have to, am I supposed to infer? The fact that you built them and reinforced them? Or do I just need to know that? Or should it be explained? And where did that little semicircle come from? I, <laughs> I don't know what it does. It looks good. I just I don't know where it fits. I'm talking about that little semicircle. Almost full, but not quite. And ideally, these are three things to fix. Production. Do you show me assembly? We got sequence of use. Not really. A little bit here. Great. These are the things you're designing for. And you show me maybe a touch of production. No distribution. No online offering. You show me a symbol, but I don't really see the process of taking flat to full. And then I don't see. What do I do with the end of life? Or what if one part breaks and I don't want to throw the entire thing away? Do I have a place on this online site where I can go, hey, I just need part 7B. Okay, cool. We'll send it to you. Or do they just, hey, here's a digital file. Find a, a local 3D printer. Because if you've already think about the lifestyle or the life cycle as a whole, why should you be feeling half the shit? So that's the difference between just solving a part of the problem and solving the whole problem. Something to think about, Jan. Yeah, as I recall, I didn't really make any concessions for this to be fixed. I've seen it a bunch of times. Come on, computer. All right, I just think I've seen it before. Cool. As far as I remember, nothing wrong with it. Les Gumes. What's up with this line right here? It's not even centered. Is it the ceiling? I don't know what it is. It bugs me. I like this page. Keep in mind, that's a bit much for me to read just my first run through. So it's flat plaque, Lumiere. These material cost effectiveness, so these are your design considerations. Okay, when I get to the end, I'm going to look for these things. Materials, cost efficiency, and construction. Okay, so going back, 
flat backed. I agree, these things can both be made flat. I think here's some ideas for making this more robust project. One is this is how you design it to be flat packed, but on the next slide have like a, a shipping container, have your acrylic and cardstock just kind of pulled out just a little bit cascading. And then you show me how to assemble it. That would reinforce the idea of it being flat packed. Secondly, cost efficiency. I mean, it is pretty cost effective, but I'm wondering if you could drive that price down any more. And part of the way you drive the cost down is um, not so much the material cost, but in how you manufacture it, right? So this was sent through Pinoco. I would show them a before or around one Pinoco, around two Pinoco, showing how you drew, you drove down the cost of manufacturing that we could request. Um, Hmm. Is this even the right thing to, to highlight? Because you've got to ask $52 for this, which for me is the price you're asking. That should be bolted. But then again, the important part is that you're getting profit because without profit, it's, there's no reason to do it. So back to my point of cost efficiency. So round one, Pinoco, how you change it in round two, that way you can prove is more cost efficient. And then construction, I guess that would come in the assembly. So those are the two things I'd like added to this is the Pinocchio round one and round two and a sequence of use of assembly. talked about this earlier. You don't need to say Coca-Cola company. This all says Coca-Cola company. Why do we have McDonald's? At no point do we talk about McDonald's. It's like you, you can't mix these two brands up. Yes, I mean, they're a big distributor of Coca-Cola, but this is a brand and this is a brand. So, uh-uh, we can't do this. That's incredibly confusing. Also, in case of parent brand research, what do you know about Coke? What are like the three biggest things? If you're gonna design for Coke, you have to abide by these rules. Color specification, that should be left aligned right here. What is CIS? Also, I'd be a little bit more consistent, right? So like maybe this is four millimeters above, then that one's seven and that one's eight. Just go four. So every heading is four millimeters above whatever your, uh, your description is. Da -da -da. Google Color Company, throw it out. Like I said last time, move that to the left. And if this is Parrot Brand Research, is this the type that the Coca-Cola company uses? I don't think so. Design strategy, logo, packaging. All right, so what's the strategy? All right, this is visually uh, quite difficult to read. So I need a darker background, that way I can see what you're writing more clearly. Also, I guess there's some basic alignment. I, it's really difficult to read this page because there's so much visually going on. Um, I feel like your vision, mission, customer, audience segments should be lined up 
horizontally here. I think this block attack needs to be lined up horizontally there. And keep in mind, I think these are spreads. Are they spreads or are these just one ups? I think there's one up, so I'm not going to say anything about that. I'm not sure if that's the way to spell pamphlet. I'm quite sure it's not. It's about so, yeah, I've seen this guy in three dimensions. Also, we can't have that. You can't have your hand cut off. So maybe Photoshop it out. Maybe that's the easiest solution. There we go, pamphlet normal. Spell check. I think this guy's way too dark because visually, my eye goes to the areas of highest contrast, which is this guy. But it shouldn't go to this guy. It should go to this. So how do we make that lighter just to give context, but not to bring too much attention? I think these leaders could be lighter. Right, maybe that's two points. Maybe it's just one. Same thing here. Make this entire image bigger and see if we can knock down the visual importance of your figure. It's important she's there. But for right now, the contrast makes me see her first and then your product second. I like the way it's done. I would make two suggestions. One, can we make your exhibit just a little bit bigger? And then if possible, can we make your images a bit bigger too? Or maybe you can't do it just because it'll make the entire page feel overwhelming. Or what if you break this into two pages? So let's take this four, throw on the next page. We make this guy big, and then you do three call outs. And then the second page, you want to talk about more of the details. And at the very end, you can show this large hero image. Cool. I think that's what I'd do. I don't know what EDC is. Okay, cool. <laughs> That's what I wanted. Just curious, should you do capital E, capital D, capital C to reemphasize? We'll say it's my computer, but why is that pixelated? You've heard me say this before, but currently it just looks like just ideas and form development. What I'm curious are, what are you thinking about when you're drawing these things? So opportunities for call outs here. Oh man, you're gonna explain this guy. Because ideally, you know, you lay this thing flat. Nobody folds and then folds their, their money. It's just fold once. Or don't fold at all. So, just be ready to answer that question because if I was interviewing you, I'd be like, no, nobody does this with their money. This is a designer error. So be ready to answer that question. Also, what's the goal? Right? It's used for everyday carry. This thing's supposed to be used in the wild. So, is this being used in the wild? Mm, nah, not yet. That's what I'd like to finish the project up with.
All right, you know how I feel about this project because I've seen it multiple times. I think, I think I'm disqualified for giving you feedback on it because I've seen it so many times. I don't know how somebody else feels about this project. So, Mark Dorsey asks Owen Foster about this project, or Van asks Jan about this project. See what they think. In terms of portfolio, yeah. All right, this. Ain't no reason you and A shouldn't work on it together. I do like the intro page a bit more, though. Make that a prime number. It's just a human thing, right? A hundred dog earners. Of course you did a hundred. You probably did like ten. Right? But if you put 107 dog owners, it's such a weird number. My brain goes, yeah, 107 is weird. Maybe they actually did 107. All right, low cost, easy to clean, long lasting. What is low cost for you, hood rich girl? Just wondering. Do you ever at any point talk about low cost? Where's that online platform? No. Nah. You say it's a goal to be low cost, but you never t talk about it again. Which tells me that wasn't really one of your points if it wasn't important to mention again. Was it easy to clean? Yes. You talk about it. Long lasting? Okay, it implies long lasting. Function of reform? Cool with that. Also, Make this page easier to read. I don't think we need the dog stamp. If you want the dog stamp, throw it in the corner. Um, less contrast in the background because it's a super cute picture. But once I started reading, my brain goes, oh, that's an adorable picture in the background with like a doggy birthday. And I don't continue reading. I don't think I'm the only person to actually do that, so you can check me. All right problem is like I like seeing all the context but I can't read this in here I mean I can if I work at it really hard but I should have to work at it really hard so make this box more white that way it makes your text pop and it's not like you know political political satire has been around for hundreds of years it's not just to start with John Stewart Cool. I might show the potential of figures first and then throw this in here. Because it's a pretty. I know we're doing a political character. She's showing the unlying structure, and boom, we got Trump. Told Ada the same thing. This appears everything can be thrown into your washing machine. That's not really true. These things are separated. So, show an idea. Separate the, the flesh from the bones, and then you show them going into their respective cleaning mechanism. All right, downside of showing internet or web interfaces is you always have to use news's phone because this tells me this isn't from the last three or four years based on the phone you chose. I know it's not fair, but that's kind of the nature of the beast. And then let, leave me some final topics, some final words here. Because you said earlier, what were your things? It needs to be low cost, easy to clean, and long lasting. So re-emphasize those three points at the very end. James Jenkins. All right, it's a stretch. All right. Cool. Solid in class. Don't need to give any feedback on it. I need like interlude music. Oh, Benny. You and four other people got this project, which I'm totally down with doing. 
keep on a little spin mode, buddy. Now, Mackenzie, is this file too big? Or is my internet too slow? I don't know. We. Oh, Nanny Kai. I feel like 20 should be more bold. This works because it's higher contrast being over white. Because that's kind of over this peach. It gets knocked back a little bit. So 20 items, not including personal items. And also, like, I wouldn't even use not 20 items plus how many more? Like 35 items mom needs to carry? I've got to be honest, this is a little confusing. Because this is one and this is two. That's like a soft good. That's a hard good. So, like I don't see the relationship between them other than you tell me it is. Also, is that even possible? Like, this flips out. So, in here I have an inward crease, and here I have an outward crease. It's possible if it was a soft good, but you drawn it like a hard good. So really, this needs to be redrawn so these things work together. I do like the itemized. Hey, these are all the things you need. Also, I wanted to try something for me. If it works, keep it. If it doesn't work, don't do it. But what if you change the icons and the we'll call them object text and not body text? Change it to white. Um, I don't know. I would just like to see the change if it if it helps or doesn't help. Yep, good point. So, I definitely like, I appreciate this direction more. This is more of a problem solving direction than last time. But, I still feel like I need some more. I want one more page of how the bag works, like a sequence of use. Say, so like, alright, say it's time to. Um, if I was on the on the go, and what would I need? Give me like a real life situation. What could I do? <coughs> Other than the pump, yes, you can show the the sequence of pumping. Do we need a cleaning brush on the go? I guess you probably need it. Only right, only idea right now is just to show the realness. So, sequence of use before I get to the final of mom being at a friend's house and baby goes for a nap. So, she puts her baby down on the bed, but she needs to pump for the next feeding session. So, what's the sequence of use look like that? Ideally, that's what I want because that proves the effectiveness of the system. Like, in theory, yeah this all works but if you show me that it works it's a bit easier for me to buy into it so ideally that's what I would like that loaded fast what's up with this front page though you see I got a line here and I got a line here I don't think that's necessary Also, your spacing is funny on this. I feel like that could be condensed vertically a bit, this area. And then it doesn't have to like make your box bigger so it doesn't fit on it doesn't hit on the edges. Oh my gosh. Why do I need to hyphenate things? 
How many times? It might become, like, I think with Project 4, if I see any hyphenations, I'm just going to stop. It's tough. It wears on me. Also, move it out to the right. Move that out to the left. You got plenty of space. Don't overlap. Need to color, yeah. Okay, we'll leave that. Instead of underscore, could you try something for me? Could you just take an open circle, so a circle that has a white center or a light gray dot and put it next to these points? That way it's more like bullet points. Just to be curious what it looks like. Instead of worms, I kind of want worms question mark. And though I do like the volume, it's kind of hard to see the forest for the trees. Yeah, there really isn't much visual hierarchy to it. I mean, beginning, middle, diagrammatic. So this is what I'd like. I'd like a redone sketch page that helps me see your process or progress in your ideation. Because this one I just get a bit lost because we go from this, which is kind of it's a forest of, I don't know where to look, to vertical, to vertical. And it's like there's two problems here. There's how does the system work, and then how does the system look. And then boom, phase three. So I think we got to this too early. Worms, worms are good. I'm cool with them. Also, this kind of fading off effect. Um, I like the approach. I just don't think it's done successfully yet. So maybe three forces wide and do three lines. So it's three force, half, and then a sliver. So it fades out instead of being like line, line, Adidas. Does one really create air? What are you really trying to say here? <sighs> if I see this one more time, I'm going to quit reading. One, no hyphenations. Two, no orphans. And why is the number of retention put right there? Because of the orphans? I mean, you have a little bit of horizontal space you could expand to. What does that lead? What does this lead to? I'm not sure this is working. Right? Top bin? Yes. Top lid? Sure. Section 105. Here. Right? Section door? Maybe that's what you're talking about. But why don't these connect? Or if your top lid is here, like why do, why do these start later? To me, like this is a, a nice detail, but it's not really essential to how the entire thing works. Like I think showing this in a sequence of use would be more effective. Because like this view, it's really, like I barely see that, so I don't really understand that if I pull one, something else happens. Told you, if I see it one time, I'm going to quit, so quit. All right, talk to McKenzie. Fancy ladies. Curious. It works. I would like to see a different uh, approach because it's like, why are these things written on like folded pieces of paper? Because it's not really about the folded pieces of paper. It's about this object and your critique of the object. 
So I like the style. I like the rule of thirds. I would like to see it done in a different approach than text on top of a blue piece of paper with a drop shadow. Um, I like a little bit more elaboration on this, on these. So pull that up, pull that down. Why well, was saying common desires twice? Just get rid of this. Popular styles and then one sentence why it's popular. Styles to avoid, why do you avoid it? That gives me a bit more insight on what you're developing. Durable, talk about that in class. Like, shouldn't it be durable? Um, and by durable, I believe you meant that it should be stain resistant. And if you mean it to be stain resistant, why not say, you know, stain resistant? Told you I wasn't a fan of this. I don't mind this, but what do you want me to learn about how you progress through this project through these images? We gotta work through this. Do you feel like the frust the frustration that I have? It's like I thought we talked about some of these things. Like, first thing I see is right here how the sketches and continue. And really the vignette's not doing much for me because by talking about the bag interior, I'm like, are we talking about the exterior here? So just explain one idea, which means you probably got to set it free from this vignette and be like, hey, we thought about this idea. We thought about this idea. We thought about this. This is what the material should look like. And if you tell me, hey, these are the, the reason, the, the things, the popular styles, the reason why it is popular, we integrated that in here. But without telling me, you're making me guess. Massing form, reduce page. <laughs> Um, you can have three categories. I'd like to fill this page up with sketches. We gotta break it free of the vignettes because those things are hurting you. Works great for a page, but when you have multiple of these guys on one page, it just draws my attention to this one and that one and that one. And your sketches don't play well together. What did you learn about like these different forms through massing? You just said shapes. Obviously, some shapes are superior to other ones. So why are they? If you don't tell me, I don't know. And what's the difference between like massing, which is external form, and form? Are these the best words? Okay, give me info. Because you're not gonna be at, you're not gonna be there to narrate when I'm looking at this. So if you don't put this in some type of text or some type of really easy to understand visual, like these are open boxes. I don't know what to do with it. All right, you made a prototype. Prototypes are great. What'd you learn from the prototype? Also, every time I see this, I'm like, yo, you're being disrespected. He doesn't even care about your concept. But, little speech bubble. Nanny Connie, what do you think about this? Then that's telling the story. What is this page telling me that one's not? I don't think anything. Kill this off. Do this full bleed image. Speech bubble. And maybe a speech will back from you. Oh, that's a great idea. Let's integrate it. If you're going to show hero images, I talked to you about that page. If you're going to show hero images, personally, I. Ugh, what do we do? I say full bleed this image. This tells me more than that one does, and then do call outs on this image. But a side profile doesn't tell me a whole lot more than that one does. So let's go with the left one. Talk about this page in class. And I'm going to tell you again. Um, another full bleed image. Call outs. Why are these things important? There's a place for everything. If something's not in a place, you know you're missing it. Thank goodness that I caught it from somebody else's. Do you have a third one? 50 50, 50, 50 pages are good for comparison, but they're not really good for hierarchy, right? Which one's more important? Which do I look to first? What are you trying to tell me here? Mom side, pump side, baby side. Better find them. All 
All right. OTF. Keep in mind, you know what it is because you're in your studio. I don't because I'm reading this for the first time. What's an OTF? Here we go again. OTF. Keep in mind, I'm stupid. Like, even if I said, like, remember those uh, Listerine breast strips? Yeah, what about them? Oh, those are oral thin films. Oh, cool, I get it. But without that introduction, I'm lost. Additionally, why are we using two different sizes for body text? Just one, one is sufficient. Problem isn't so much. This is part of your solution. This is the problem, right? There's a lot of things to take, um, and it's difficult. And you have, you have to teach yourself a technique to swallow medicine. That's the problem. So introduce the problem first, make me understand and empathize with you, and then you can introduce the idea of oral thin film, like it's coming to the rescue. So what I would do is this entire like bottom half of your page. Take that image, blow it up and crop it so it fits unhappy grandpa. Right? It might need to be another image. I think this is okay. But I know by cropping it down into something that's like this one by three, you might lose a lot of information. So we'll say one by three, scale it up, make sure it's not pixelated. Talk about the problems. And then problem, this page. Possible solution. Oral thin film. Think about Listerine strips. What are the benefits of doing it? Like I like the idea of one idea per page and adding one page to this isn't going to kill you. So there should be something in between. What? And maybe instead of like, gosh, I'm a terrible person. I'm going to say it because it's late and I don't care. Um, what about taking pills rectally, right? It is an option. I'm just throwing it out there. Um, also, what about like vapor? Like um, a humidifier. That's another way to take. Just others, please specify. Like what about injection? I mean, if you're diabetic... It's not a big deal. You kind of do that every single day. So I'm trying to poke holes in this because I don't believe you. Of course they're going to take oral thin film. It's your project. If they said no, then you got to go a different route. Now this is even more confusing. The overall outcome we desired from the survey. One, that's weird. It's like you're reading into the data before it's even there. I don't care what you desire from the survey. Read the information for what it is and then make a decision instead of trying to project a decision on the information. Um, was a better understanding of the design limitations of a dispenser. The information you show me here doesn't talk anything about design limitations. It's just preference. So... What information are you showing me? Also, three, two, one. We typically don't really like that. It should be one, two, three, right? So why aren't these in reverse order? Heck, you can mirror that and throw it on the other side. So, I mean, this page is doable. Just make it one, two, three. Actually, mirror this entire page. Just make sure the, red, the text is read correctly. Still waiting for you to define what OTF is.
Also, maybe flip flop this, or instead of using humans for both, what if these are little pills shaped, and you do nine out of ten pill shapes, and that way I see a difference between we're talking about medicine here and we're talking about people here. Also, one again, this is really conventional, or not conventional, but really convenient information. Of course, people prefer an oral disintegrating dosage over solid oral f or dosage forms. You're working for CSP. Of course they're going to say that, but is that real information? Like, what? How, <laughs> does anyone care how this thing tastes? At least with pills, you don't have to taste anything. And why do we have a secondary concept? It like, does it offer something unique that the other one doesn't. So why do we need two? I don't know. First thing I saw was like you got these lines that carry out all the way. What if you just stop the lines? Or another one's take all this information, write a line it. And then make your lines more direct. I don't know. This bugs me. Can we see another version of it? Also, who are we designed for? This guy. Do we ever see a human interacting with this? No. No pockets. No hands. No people. So, if that was my suggestion for improvement, that's another one. I'm not mad. At least I'm trying not to be mad, but I kind of feel mad. I don't want to be mad. Let me say that. Six Week Project by Stuart Little. Gate. Okay. Yep. Saw us in class lots of times. Don't feel the need to give you feedback. If I did, I would already give it to you. So check, check. I want to play theme music in between. I just, all these last projects are pretty fast. Hey, um, Danny, I'm trying to read about your project, and all I'm getting is this, like, I can't read this. So, what type of joke are... Oh my goodness, what type of joke are you trying to play on me? Especially when you got a hyphenation. I know I can't read it, but... <laughs> Man, if you see how many times I've got to, like, comment on this, you might be as frustrated as me. All right, so that's the that's the new rule. Project four. If I see a hyphenation in your project, I'm quitting it. How many times do I got to say it? Ain't nobody listening to me. Maybe people start listening to me when I stop giving you information. <sighs> if you would have written it out, we wouldn't have hyphenations now, would we? Ben, are you angry? Nah, I'm just irritated. All right, so let me tell you what I think you're trying to say. And let me tell you why this is the problem. Is you want your 3D models to represent um, reality. But if you don't put radius on the edges, it never looks like it's reality. It always looks like a render. Because real products don't have super sharp angles. You round the edges so it molds better. So... That that is. Also, <laughs> you tell me it's a clock, but I don't see a clock. I see a like an Aztec looking shape. So what's your word? Stable. You interpret it three ways. You do the sketching. I'd like to see more sketching. I think your sketching ability is good. Then I'd like to see some models. Man, this is an underdeveloped project. You never showed me like the the font choices. You could be showing me inter some interaction uh, on this guy because there is um, some type of typography, some numbers, some symbols that makes this uniquely as Tekken, and you ain't got it yet. So bring this guy back to me when we have more things to talk about.
I'm interested in this quote here. Let's say Randy said that. Um, also, I don't think it's a very good quote, if I gotta be real. If a thing does not provide value to one's life, it's easier for them to replace it. Of course, like this is, we know that. If you don't care about it, you don't care about it. Right? So, either give credit to Randy for like a half ass quote, or change it, make it sound more prophetic. I'm not really sure you gotta call it Creed at this point. Um, appropriate posture for work using a flat pack approach that is easy to assemble and aesthetically beautiful. Cool. Downside of this is that. I don't know why that bugs me so much. Can you take this fuzzy line and bring it over just a little bit? Or find a way to get these three words put down here? So I got the, the, the grass is greener theory. I want to see it. It might not be necessary, but because I can't see it, I want to see it. I think visual hierarchy we could use a little bit of help and I've been thinking this in the entire time is visually I think the text is at a good size it definitely has that secondary or tertiary level but when I try to read it it's just a tad small um, feel free to source somebody else to see if they feel it's a bit small I'd like to be knocked up a point size or two um, also four lines deep I think your headings, appropriate joinery, five ply, remove extra bend, um, those should be not just bold and they are a bit bolder, um, but take a size you know, two points, maybe four points bigger. All right, cool with that. This is not a final render, then I'll wait. I could have said that more directly. Through other testing, I learned Yeah, but when you're designing a desk, I mean, can you really say this is gonna be for this occasion? Alright, but then add ripper feet. All right, I'm cool with that. Yeah. All right, I think you're close to finish. I mean, you just got placeholders. Place things in those placeholders. Do I have the energy to finish a Marino? All right, let's make this happen. Poway, Poway too. I don't want to be like Randy and make fun of text. It's just I'm entertaining myself. It's late. I don't. Yeah, you get the idea. Why is Tectonic Industries in a different text? Because the biggest thing is I want to see that. I want to see the Ryobi and the TTI symbol because those are instantly recognizable. I do like how you're talking about the OnePlus system, Justice, even though I know you'll never look at this page because you checked out hours ago. It's a good way to introduce it, right? If I don't know what the OnePlus system is, this helps me get to that idea. So, I mean, there's two situations where someone wants to know what a OnePlus system is. One is you have somebody who's really been outside who isn't a big DIY person, maybe grew up in a very metropolitan area, and they don't own hand tools. They don't know who Ryobi is. They need to know who a OnePlus system is. 
And secondly, if you have someone who's international interviewing you and they're aware of TTI, but they're not aware of the OnePlus system, why it's unique. So I'm not really saying this to you, Moreno. I'm saying this to other people, but just it was on my mind. Okay. So create a product or extend their product line, right? Into what? You're making a bit of an assumption. So you could push it anywhere you wanted to, any type of tool, and then it's a broom. So do you need a segue in between the two? Like you decided to introduce it to this market because it's really need, it's surprisingly in demand, there's little competition in the market, some like that. Another point, another one, is I'd like this green border to be on the back of your images, but I can see how like it looks more saturated here than here, that this green box is actually in front instead of behind. It looks in front of these, but maybe I'm wrong. That's what I would like out of them, to be low on top. I do like this idea here. Is there any way you could like maybe bold? It became a spark for everything after? Because to me, like, this is an aha moment. This is one direction, then boom, it shot you in a different direction. Irritants, spell check. Mm, I don't know. I think I might make that guy smaller. Yes, it is good to give um, credit where it's due, but visually I don't really care for it. So I think making it smaller is fun. And props for making this contextual information, but does somebody read this graphic as 79%? Does someone read this as 92%? My feelings are no, but check with somebody else. Also, can we remove map of US pollen frequency? I think I get it by association because you're talking about allergies, US pollen, 8%. I'm wondering. I don't want to move everything around, but this idea requires me to move everything around. That moves up a little bit. That information comes on the other side. And then you grab a little circle and then do a zoom out, and then I see pollen. That would tell me, hey, pollen is in that area. So you're visually saying that, and you're reiterating it through text. I'm afraid we can't do that. Like ideally you want to keep font sizes the same throughout. So we have one size here, we go smaller, then we go bigger, and then we go smaller. If it's like unique graphic you can change, but like that's still kind of the idea of body, so it's gotta be the same size. Which means you gotta take information out. And we got another size. What's up all this why do you keep on changing sizes? Keep it consistent, man. All right, we're getting to the point where I'm, it's, I'm struggling to see the forest for the trees. And maybe because I'm tired. I don't know. Same. I just, I think that's enough for one page. I don't know if I necessarily need the handle development. You need call on this. Personally, I do like finishing with these guys. But if you have a final one, it feels weird, man, that we know it's supposed to be used at an angle, but it's kind of laying on its back. Or at least give me some closing statements on why it's a successful design. If I'm sitting here, just here, it's like, all right, cool. Give me a, a closing thought, please. 
Jemiah as our agreement. I'll come back and get that one. Please remind me. Tumble. Miss Kitty, I might knock down the sizes of this just a bit. What type of monster throws like finished milk? Pour that down the drain. What's wrong with these people? Savages. Yep. I feel like scaling things down just a tad. So scale that down 15%. Scale this down 10%. I don't know. It's what I feel. Instead of but why, what about why not? Just a thought. Lack of awareness, motivation. I like this. Make sure this information is centered. You see how that guy kind of creeps a bit high and it's not quite centered between these two. All right, it's a pretty big good idea. I'm giving you credit for volume here. But then I don't see any refinement. I mean, you don't need refinement, but I do expect on this right side of the page to see things that resemble this. I guess I get it. Which one is the most like your finished concept? I guess this one. Can we move some things around? Have that be 30% bigger? Or have that 30% bigger and sit in this lower right hand corner? Not necessary, but an interesting story to inquire to. All right, you say the tumbler was way too big. How do you prove that? Because it's a scale model. Until I say a human sitting next to the scale model, it's kind of difficult to know that it's too big. So how do you prove that? So you say it was too big here, and then you say in digital modeling you adjusted it. So I'm like, okay, so what's the next thing? This is in the digital modeling. Okay, so there's two things happening here. Tumblr, collector. You gotta introduce you gotta introduce those things to me prior to seeing them now. I don't understand the context they fit it to. Part one, part two. This is information I needed like a page again. Also, these guys are pretty full. But I don't have a suggestion, so even though it's full, I say keep it. I might flip icons remind you and put it down here. And ideally you want to try to use the same text, but until I have a better solution, I ain't going to say nothing. Blank page. I do want a sequence of use. Like how does all these things work in, a con in concert with one another? Maybe that's that page. Hmm. Maybe instead of four months, you say 12 week design project. Just a thought. I'm not going to read that too much. 
I'm not like I, I don't want you to choose the ratchet strap just yet. One, explain what the Ruby One Plus system is. I think that's incredibly important, even though I don't know how many times I said it. How do I get everybody in the in the portfolio class to watch like other similar projects? That way, I'm not saying things repetitively. I don't know. But I am irritated by having to say the same things over and over. It makes me feel like I'm crazy. Okay. So between these two, what is the Ruby One Plus system? And what do I be ask you to do? Um, that's page number two. Page number three, what are some potential problems? And eventually you arrive on the problems of... Is this problem exploration? Okay, so you have two different ideas. So explain the OnePlus system, and then you have um, areas of interest, topics of development. Um, I can't think that well right now, but you show, hey, there's a problem or there's a lacking product in the gutter cleaning market. There's a lacking product in the ratcheting market. I chose to go with ratcheting. These are the problems with the ratcheting. And then you can show me and give me an empathize. But, but just by saying, hey, I want to put this thing in the ratchet, it's like, but why? But if you show me the problems and why it's so difficult to ratchet something down by yourself and how it's so stinking annoying to tighten and then go over and tighten and then go over and tighten, then there's room for your product. But without saying that, you're kind of making me assume things. And also you're doing your research. It appears you're doing your research after you have an idea. So maybe you pitch these two ideas. Hey, there's a lacking opportunity in the ratchet market, lacking opportunity um, in the gutter market. Ratchet has more potential than explain the problem. And it's not so much hand. I mean, it is some, but I would say it's more this. It's time consuming, annoying. And if you monotonous, yeah. And if you fail to do it right, you have something fly out of the back of the truck, hits the car behind you, and then you have an insurance claim. That's a real problem. Or I'd say that's the big problem. And this is kind of a secondary thing. I wonder if there's an image you could fly in there. Um, like that's what I want to see. Apply with it. Yes, this is exactly what I want to see. This is what happens when we don't tie something down, right? Look at that. This is what happens when you don't tie down your wood. How do you avoid this? Because, I mean, this person is almost decapitated, am I right? This is the image that gets attention and drives home a point. Just think about it. <laughs> Which one has a conversation? That one or Carl Rotano? I think you know the answer. I like the sketches. I think it's good. Only problem is it doesn't feel like it's formatted right. Because first thing my eye goes to is the thing that's different than everything else in this weird kind of white space. So, easy option. How can you fill this up with something? Um, and then draw my attention to one, two, maybe three. This page looks visually interesting. Wait. This guy. You can't, you can't throw the ideation here because I saw it earlier. No, you, this is an idea. You had this idea before you did research. So after you did research, this guy should be different. Does that make sense? Right, I don't care about, I do care about what you did. I'm more interested in what did you learn? You made the models and then you, what did you learn through the making of the models and then how do you test the models? That's where I'm wanting to see information. Come on, Bush, finish. 
VBL, we need to fill this page up a bit more because right now it's like just paste, 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 and that doesn't look well composed. And I really, I don't see hardly any differences. There's no difference in this piece that I want I can tell from. These look really similar. These look different. So zoom in, zoom in on the parts that changed. Yeah, man. Prime is the size. Like I, I, I believe we talked about this last time that I want it in this arrangement so it all fits on one page and it fits on one page. But I can't really see it. So until I got a better suggestion, maybe there's something you can do. Because I don't want it in four because I don't want the window pane. I guess we'll stay with it. But make sure you align things up. All right, I think we got too much images for one page. I would take these, maybe save them for later, but right now they're the smallest ones, so I'm assuming they're the least important. Take these things, move it off. Move these guys over some, and then scale that picture up a bit. Or move this information to the center. Also, we gotta be careful where we're putting things. So that is easy to read. That one needs to be moved over. I think you knew that anyways. Top trap release needs to be moved over. Clutch. Pretty close in the right spot. These leaders should be like a, take that line down in thickness a little bit instead of like two points. It should be one or maybe point seven five. I don't really think you need to show me applications. I mean, the packaging is cool and unique, but we already know you can do that, so there's no reason to be redundant. We know you can do that, so. Yeah, I think instead of trying to force this, maybe the details from this page should show up here and then reiterate in text form why this is a great solution and why people need this. All right, we talked about this in class. Let's see what changes you made. Integrate should be lowercase i. All right, cool. Works. Talked about the difference of margins playing a big role. Elegant, subtle, and fragile. I like it. I'm not really sure this is important, but then mixed model making and sketching. I wonder if you even got to say that though. I know you start by sketching, I see that. And then I see you went into models. So, is this statement even necessary? I do like the critique on this, it's probably my favorite part. I think the text needs to be a bit bigger. I like it being small and delicate because it fits the project. Um, but for me, it's a bit difficult to read at this size, like the words start blending together. Yep. All right. That's what I want. Stable. All right. I'm not getting enough contrast between what you've written. Actually, I can't read it. Descriptive word expressed in a 3D form. So instead of using like that brown, not brown, I guess it is kind of brown, kind of orangey font, just go to white. Like high contrast is easy to read, easy to read. 
Also, keep in mind how I'm going to read this. I'm going to start at the top, and either I'm going to go down to stable, or I'm going to go to feminine. And the difference between the two is, I'm not really sure. I think it's difficult for me to see that, so I don't think... Uh, <laughs> Was I need more contrast? Yeah, I need more contrast on the image. I'm bare. I can barely tell that these are shoes because all the colors are so close to one another. I think stable should be the top. Stable is where everything starts from. Stable here up the top. Project brief. Um, I don't think we need that. I'd rather have that image than the shoes. Feminine, what does it mean to be feminine? What does it mean to be strong? What does it mean to be grounded? And then you're going to explore the the definition of these terms through a physical embodiment. Recreating sketches, fun. Model iteration. I think we've got too much on this page. I'd get rid of these. The problem is everything's so sinking horizontal. I mean, if you have these models, I would take them in like two rows of four. That way it takes up more vertical space than one horizontal space. Or what if, I don't want to take this out though. I think this is stronger than this. Um, what I would do is have this gray kind of extend all the way to the top and then do a call out. What do you think about it? Call out. What's successful? Call out. What doesn't work? Call out. This got improved. That way I can tell like your design process, the things that you're thinking about as you're making new models. All right, thing that I would change, well, this needs to change. This is what you're trying to sell, right? Then why is it in the background in the corner? It should be over here. Am I right? I think I am. Um, additionally, I don't really care that it's hand-mixed paints, making it analogous with the body of the clock. I guess that word works. I just don't use it a lot. Um, so yeah, high heel shoe was never a part of your equation. I mean, you show me an image, but is the final clock feminine, strong, and grounded? That's what I want you to argue on this page. And then move that to the front. So, all right, getting there.